everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all good. I hope you are staying safe in the current circumstances. Um, I didn't really think I was going to film today. I literally woke up feeling pretty rubbish. Um, just everything that's going on right now, it is pretty poo. But if I don't film, I don't get content out for you guys. And yeah. So today I am actually hopefully going to film my makeup collection but I did want to just do my makeup before that so that I have something on in the video and I was thinking of kind of doing a affordable makeup tutorial. Don't know how well I'll stick to plan but we'll see. I just want to apologise for the fact that my body is really really tanned and my face is not so much. I usually put instant tan on my face for velamin, but I can't be bothered so deal with it basically. Um, I'm just gonna go straight into the video. I have already carved out my eyebrows with the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer so it's their 16R more fuller coverage one. Um, and I'm gonna do my eyes first. Do I want to prime my eyes with this concealer? Yeah I'll do that. I'm just gonna take that concealer and pop it on my eyes as my eyeshadow primer. It's really weird, it's like really short and fat. I expected it to be a lot bigger than it is. Um, I'm using the shade C6 as well. It's I find the concealer generally is a wee bit grey, but other than that it's fine. Um, and I'm just gonna pat this in and I'm using a Colourpop E13 brush. So just patting that all over my eye as an eyeshadow base. That's one thing I never really do is use concealer as an eyeshadow base, but hey ho, we're changing it up today. I always usually tend to use a... I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and this is the satin finish one, so it's the hydrating one. And I'm just going to end with the shade Deep Chestnut. And I'm just popping a tiny bit of this on each eye just to kind of give a bit more depth of colour. And I'm just using a BTY brush, it doesn't have a number or anything on it, um, but it's just a wee small fluffy brush. And I'm just kind of patting this on all over the lid just to give a bit of depth of colour so we have a bit more of a deeper colour to work with. Now it's not too dark this concealer. How is everyone dealing with the self-isolation situation? Today is technically like probably my first proper day doing it because I seen Matthew all weekend and then we kind of decided yesterday that it would be our last day together for a while. I kind of said it's probably going to be 12 weeks which is crazy but we're kind of hoping that it's not going to be that long but then it just kind of depends on how everyone else is playing ball with everything and how important it is to stay inside. So for eyeshadow palettes today I'm going to use the Colourpop and this is the double in intro palette and um, so it just looks like this. It's all brownie tones, really fab, stunning palette and um, it's like a real go-to for every day for me. And it's called Pop, so obviously it is affordable. It is a wee bit harder to get hold of in the UK, I think. I'm not sure if they send me PR, but I'm pretty sure it is. But I'm sure there's loads of similar palettes that you can use in drugstore. Or else if you do want to do an order, sometimes they do do like free delivery and stuff. So usually that works out then you can get it a bit more affordable. And you can use my code IMHOLES5 and you save five points off, which is always nice. So I'm going to go into... This three shade in the palette here and I'm just going to blend that so it's the matte brown just in case I want to do the shimmer. I'm just going to blend that all through my crease and I'm really just doing like kind of like a basic look today just because yeah I don't really want too much because I'm literally popping this on. This is kind of like my go-to look if I'm filming and kind of bringing that all over the lid as well just to set all that concealer in place. See the likes of like obviously the fact that we have to self-isolate and stuff like that there. Like I'm kind of like, oh, like that's fine because I spend so much time working from home and stuff anyway as it is and I spend a lot of time on my own but I think for me it'll be the weirdest that I can't like just go see Matthew because that was like my little bit of like normality because I could just go see him, chill in his, chill with his family and it was like my wee interaction for the day. Like I'm very lucky, I still live at home with my mum and my dad and I've come from quite a big family as well so I've like all my siblings. Apart from my eldest sister, she has moved out already. But thankfully, like, we've all got each other to kind of keep each other company and stuff if we go a wee bit cuckoo. It's nice to live with family, whereas some people don't have that privilege. 
Um, I'm just going to go in with a Soiva 221 Luxe Soft Crease and I'm just going to blend edges of this colour. So just blending this back into the skin. It's also really weird for me filming at the minute because I don't film when there's people in the house. So there's people in the house right now and it's so weird. Mum and Dad are still at work and stuff but my siblings are all home. I'm going to go into the dark brown shade in the palette and I'm using a Sosu X Kaylee SK06 brush. And I'm just going to start taking this in my outer edge, kind of creating like a smoky wing. This is like my favourite kind of look to do, purely because it just really compliments my eyes. My eyes are quite undone, so this just kind of helps to lift them up once I clean it up with a concealer and stuff. And I'm just taking that quite a way in. Quite a lot of the time I wear like a half lash, so if I'm wearing a half lash I don't bring it the full way in. But if I'm wearing a full strip lash, I do just to kind of give the lashes a wee bit of something to sit on. Just really messily taking this out. I'm not being too precise with it at the minute because I'm going to clean it up with concealer. Okay, so I'm just going to use the little brush that I use to cover up my brows, which is a House of Beauty CC1 brush. I'm just going to use that to just clean the wing. So I kind of do my wing really messy and then just use concealer to clean it up. I'm just literally using the same concealer. I'm just using what um, was left from Carbonite, my eyebrows, and just using that to clean it up. Okay, these definitely look so different, but I don't care. Okay, so we're going to move on to skin. Literally the quickest eyes ever. Well, the top of the eyes anyway. I have already moisturised, and for moisturiser I used the I used the L'Oreal Hydro Genius Moisturiser. This is one of my favourites. Um, A lot of you will know that I use the Clinique Moisture Surge a lot too, and I find these two really similar, so I kind of alternate between the two. Obviously the Clinique probably is a favourite, but I love this one. So I'm going to go in with foundation and for foundation I'm going to use my fave, so the Maybelline Superstay in the shade Warm Sun. I just got a fresh one of these the other day so I'm very happy about that. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face using a Peaches PC25 brush. And I kind of like to pat my foundation into the skin because I think it gives the best coverage. This colour probably is a little bit off for me at the minute but I don't care. I really need the shade caramel beige I think it is because I like my tan quite dark and from doing some beds I generally had a good bit of tan underneath already obviously the comparison of my like body tan and my face tan probably looks like a dramatic difference but I did have a bit of a tan so my tan's a lot darker on than it would have been I'm just going to use that makeup revolution concealer so the same shade six and it just pop that under my eyes. I don't really know if this is like any more full coverage or anything than the other one. I d honestly don't think there's any difference to be honest. Um, Obviously they said it's more full coverage and longer wearing but I, I haven't actually put it to the test like longevity wise but I do not think it is any different than the other one. And then I'm just going to use a Real Techniques little brush. I think this is like the face set one. I'm just going to pat my concealer in. I actually love this brush for contouring as well but I never really use it anymore for contouring weirdly. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you are doing over like isolation. Like are you deep gotten out your rim or reading out your clothes? I've already done that this year so I'm kind of like, like what am I going to do? Do loads of like makeup pics for Instagram and stuff. And hopefully loads of videos providing I'm feeling motivated. Matthew's sister literally like read on her rim all this weekend and it looks so nice. I was like, I'm so jealous. Like I feel like because I live so much in my rim. I never, I'm going in with a Maybelline Adrienne concealer in the shade Tan to contour. So yeah, because I live in my room like all the time and I like, there's not really like a spare room in our house to put like all your stuff if that makes sense. So like stuff that you maybe don't have room for in your room. So mine's all in my room and I just, there's, I accumulate too much stuff no matter how much I read it out. I still have so much stuff. Going in with a Peaches PC21 brush and just blending that all in. So yeah, like my room is always constantly cluttered because I live in such a tiny space. Like I generally can't wait until I move out and have my own space. I just kind of pat in my bronzer contour situation just with a C brush and it does mainly work for you. But yeah, I literally because I'm living like from the one space and I kind of have to have an area where I can fill in my videos I have to have a desk that I can like edit and do my like makeup on. Also have to have walls relatively bare for taking photos. 
it's just kind of so much going on in one room and it's a bit of a situation sometimes but kind of just deal with it so i'm going in with milani's 01 translucent light to medium powder don't know why it's called translucent when it's light to medium and it definitely has a bit of a color to it but we'll make no judgment on that i'm just setting underneath the eyes with that first and I always like to take my wee smaller brush and set down the areas of my T-zone. And then I'm going to go in with a Milani bronzer powder brush. So this big one here and just dip into that and set the rest of my face. Obviously, um, like no one can go shopping to buy any of these products at the minute. But they, I think Milani and stuff are sold on Beauty Bay. So is Makeup Revolution. Maybelline isn't, but I'm pretty sure you can get Maybelline on like ASOS. Um, so you can get it there, I think. Sorry if the angle is a little bit different. I just went off camera really quickly to find a bronzer that I was going to use and let my camera cool down. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Note bronzer. I have been loving this recently. It's really like, kind of has like a sheen to it. Really bronzy, my kind of situation. So it's the Terra Cotta Powder 03 in Caramel Cake. Caramel Cake, it just sounds delicious. It looks delicious and it's just a bit of me. So I'm going to use a BTY brush. It's just a little angled brush to apply this. And I'm just going to pat it on and I'm just applying it everywhere where I applied my cream bronzer. I am a lover of bronzer by the way. So if my foundation doesn't match me, you best believe it will after I've applied my bronzer. I don't even care if I have a bron bronzer helmet. I'm all about that line. I don't know um, what I'm going to do about nose contour because I need nose contour and I use Benefit Hula and I don't really know if there's anything else that I would rather use than that. Now we're going to apply blusher. For blusher I'm going to go in with Milani's Luminoso. Obviously it's a really affordable blush. You can get it on Beauty Bay. If you live in Northern Ireland, you can get it in Beauty Bay Cosmetics. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply that blush to the apples of my cheeks. I don't like this as much as I thought I would. It doesn't really have as much color as I would like to a blusher, but it kind of does for now. I do have another Milani blush, but it's very colorful. So normally if I'm doing a look, like I'm filming a video, after I don't have any highlighter on, but I do know some people can't come to terms with the no highlighter situation. So I am just gonna put one on, hopefully if I have a, an affordable one. I actually got these ones from Iconic Bronze gifted to me. So I'm gonna give these a go. Distraction city today. Yeah, so for highlighter, I am just gonna go in with the Iconic Bronze Golden Galaxy highlighter. Very interested to see what this is like. Oh, it actually looks really nice. I'm going to apply this with a Sosu X Keely SK01 brush. And I haven't um, used any setting spray or anything because I don't want a really intense highlighter. It's actually quite nice. Obviously, it's going to be a lot more subtle because I don't want it to be intense and I haven't used anything to make it intense. I'm not going to highlight like the center of my face just because I don't know how long I'm going to be filming for and I don't want to get like extremely oily um i'm just gonna pop a little bit of that in my inner corner oh i like it in the inner corner that's pretty it's kind of dark compared to what i would usually use in the inner corner but it is very nice okay so i'm just gonna go in really quickly and do the underneath of the eyes for the underneath the eyes i really don't do very much at all and um, so i'm just gonna go into this color box palette again and the color that i used through the crease this one here and I'm just literally going to pop that underneath my eyes using a Soiva 226 brush. So literally just buffing that on there just to add a little bit of definition. Nothing too crazy. And then I'll just, just blend that out with a clean fluffy brush. I am going to go off camera really quickly and do my eyebrows as I always do. I never really do them on camera. I don't really do very much to my eyebrows anyway. But yeah, I'm going to go off camera really quickly, do my eyebrows and lashes and then I'll come back to lips. Lashes and brows are done. Brows, I use my usual Anastasia. I know that's not affordable, but I don't have anything affordable right now, so that's what we're dealing with. Um, and for lashes, I use oh, oh, For lashes, I use Tatty Lash in the shade TL2, in the shade, 
in style TLT and um, they're really really fluffy and full so for lips I'm going to use Morphe's sweet tea lip pencil obviously this is Morphe so it is really affordable it is not available in the drugstore but it's really affordable to buy online and then I'm going to fill my lips in with the Maybelline matte ink superstay matte ink in the shade 55 driver this is probably one of my like all-time favorite nudes and it's a go-to of mine i absolutely love it okay guys so that is the finished makeup look it's my basic everyday makeup look probably wouldn't wear lashes as full as this for every day but i wanted the extra glam today and i wouldn't wear a highlighter every day but just so that you guys have an affordable highlighter choice. I can say yes. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned something cool that you can put into use. And yeah, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Pop me a little comment down below and let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know how your families are doing and stuff. Um, and we can all hopefully fight this thing together, put apart and just pray for one of another. One of another, one another yeah so i hope you guys are all good and enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you guys soon bye